Alright guys, welcome back. In this video I'm going to be demonstrating uh, kind of the proof of why the carry look ahead editor is so much better than the ripple adder. I didn't use that name in the other video, but uh, the full adders all chained together is called a ripple adder. Um, I know this looks a little confusing, but stick with me. It'll be fun. Um, maybe, hopefully. I am really horrible at drawing anything in here, so I am probably going to be pausing the video a lot and then updating and writing more things um, and then coming back and explaining them. Alright, so first off, in the full adder, you've got. It's really bad. Okay, you've got two inputs right here. You have input X and you have input Y, and you have this carry in. Okay, now you have your output, which is your sum, and then you have a carry out. So, these three are inputs right here. Hopefully you can see that my cursor is kind of small. And then you have two outputs. You have a sum and you have a carry out. And the equation for these is right here. So you have to XOR uh, these two and then you have to XOR that to the carry in and that gives you the sum. Um, for the carry out you have to AND X and Y and then you have to OR it with Y and the carry in ANDed and then you have to OR that with the X and the carry in ANDed. Um, and if you want to see proofs of these, then you can get them from the truth tables and then make, I don't know, your function. And, um, you know, you can look that up on the Internet. Um, I'm not going to be covering that in this video. So uh, back to kind of why the, the ripple adder is so slow. So um, this is what all of these are. So you have your X input and your Y input and your carry input. And so this is the XOR that, um, or XORs the X and the Y, and then this one XORs um, the carry into that, and this gives you your sum here. And then here are your three AND gates for these three, and then here's an OR gate um, to give you your carry out. So this is just uh, a diagram found on Google. Uh, hopefully I'm not violating any copyrights here. Um, and so these equations drawn out in a schematic looks like this. So the cost of this schematic is going to be two, give or take. So you have your inputs, and now each input, so to, to find the cost, at least the cost that we're going to, or the timing delay that we're going to worry about in this video, is the long, the like the longest path, how many number of gates it has to go through. So this one, if you follow this line, it only goes through one gate. If you follow this line, it goes through one and two, and you follow this line, it goes through one and two. So each row of these are all set up really nice. So this is your first row of gates, and then this is your second row of gates. So we're going to say that the timing delay for this is two. Okay. So now you have your sum and your carry out, and this is the sum of these two digits. So if this is x1, y1, this is sum 1. We'll put it right there. Okay. So if you were adding two binary numbers like 0, 1, 0, 1. Oh, that's a horrible looking 0. And 1, 0, 0, 0. Okay. So this is 5 and this is 8. Actually, I'm not going to add those together. Whatever. Um, so this adder just worries about these bits. Okay. And it says, okay, this is 1 and the carry is now 0. So it's going to say that the sum is 1, so we're going to put a big 1 right here. And this carry is... Uh, I'm going to undo that and put it down here. This carry is 0, okay? So now this adder now worries about the next two. So we have inputted 0 and 0. And so when you add those together, you get 0 and no carry. So now this sum is going to be 0, and this carry is going to be 0. Okay. So now, if you've noticed, adding the first digit, we only had two um, timing delay. Okay. Now, because we're chaining this, this carry out, now uh, this carry out now becomes the carry in for this circuit. 
So this is the carry out, this zero is the carry out of the first bits. And now, what, as you place it up here, it's now the carry in for the second bits. So now you kind of have to add these two together. So now we have, we can follow this line and go through one and through two, and now through three and through four. So now this is your third level of timing delay and your fourth level of timing delay. So if you continue doing that, the next bits are a, I'm sorry, this should be a zero. I labeled these both one because this is like, these are both the first bit. Uh, okay, so one is zero, zero and zero. This one we have one and zero. And so the carry in is zero. And so, so all of these added up should give you, um, like if it's two, then the sum is going to be one. And if it's one, I'm sorry, no. If if all three of these added together gives you one, then the sum is one and the carry is zero. Let's write this. If you have if the sum is one, then the sum and the carry. The sum is going to be zero. I'm sorry, dang it. The uh, sum is going to be zero. Did I just do that again? Okay. One bit the sum is 1, right, and the carry is 0. If you have 2 bits, the carry is 1, and the sum is 0. And if you have 3 bits, that's a bad 3, the sum is 1, and the carry is 1. Okay, sorry. Stumbled there for a little minute. Basic math always gives me trouble. Okay, so now you've got these ones, and so we look, and these add up to 1. So the sum is going to be 1, and the carry is going to be 0. And if you noticed, this is chaining our carry out carry out up here, sorry, this carry out, to this carry in, um, and so there's our sum, and our carry is zero, but again, it adds two more time delays, okay, and then for the last one, zero and one, and again, the sum is going to be one, and the carry is going to be zero, and this adds seven and eight, okay, so eight is now the total cost delay of adding these uh, two numbers right here. And let's just say that's a one. Okay, so this is our answer. And you can see that answer by taking the bits and going backwards. So one, one, zero, one, 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 zero, one. Okay, and that works because this is the most, sorry, this, I'll have to slow my cursor down so it you can see it, it's not so schizophrenic like. Um, so here's uh, the most significant bit. So it makes sense that this sum goes underneath here. Um, so that's kind of why these are backwards. All right, so this is the carry ripple adder. I'm sorry, the ripple adder, just plain old ripple adder. Um, and so you can chain these together. I'm going to delete this a little bit right here. Um, and so like if you had multiple. So imagine that these four boxes are the four schematics that are drawn above. And then they each have their inputs. Here's the carry in. And then here is the sums. And I'm not going to write the inputs. But here would be like sum 1, sum 2, sum, that's a horrible 3. I have problems with 3's. Um, and sum 4. There we go, that's a little better. Kind of looks like a finger pointing that direction, or a face, I don't know. Um, and so this is why these things give you so much delay, is because you have to wait for them. And it, as you go through here, it adds up your time delay, and it makes it really slow. So now I'm going to pause the video and come back showing you how the... Uh, how these equations can be, let's say, algebraically modified to um, give a faster design. So, be right back.